check combat. All right, we are going live. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Czech Firearms Podcast. My name is Lucas. There is a Carl from Check My Guns. Hey, yo. And we are at the Czech Combat Competition 2024, the first of its kind in the Czech Republic. So international match, big sponsors, big influencers. And we have a Giga from the Polnar Tactical uh, after his very first six stages. So after the very first day of the match. Welcome. Thank you for coming, man. Really yeah, appreciate okay. it. Thanks for having me. Yeah. How do you feel? You just finished six stages of the first You're day. not even sweaty. I am sweaty, but it's because of the weather. Um, this is actually quite easy. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's different than a brutality match. It's not as brutal. Um, it was meant to be. Yeah, it, it, like, it's, it's very enjoyable. You know, okay. we have more time to talk. We have uh, more relaxed stages, but they are very technical. Um, I love that you could include you, you, you included a lot of stuff in the stages where you have like proper procedures tactics uh, for example uh, uh, T triple C uh, medical stuff like a lot of stuff that you are not able to usually include in normal competitions I see and yeah and I love that um, so not that physically uh, demanding but it's yeah it's, it's just six stages and right? very fun yeah 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 so which stage did you like the most uh, so far, yeah, I, I, oh, so far. it's yeah. hard to decide between the ATV, which was super awesome. Just like you included the ATV on the stage, so you had to drive it yeah, yeah. with a wounded guy in the back, trying not to hit uh, the stuff on the course. That was super awesome. Never done that, like actually in shooting from the ATV. And the other one was, of course, the, the car stage where you had to shoot from one car to the other car, yeah. engage some targets, then get your rifle and then do the room clearing. What I loved about that stage is the stage design itself, because it had a part time <coughs> of one fifth. Fuck. <coughs> yeah, just help well, yourself. Just, yeah. Oh, thanks. Oh, yeah. this is non-alcoholic beer. Yeah, we cannot go alcoholic <laughs> on this. That no would be like a, paid that would be constant ban, man. Mm. So we need to go non-alcohol. Okay. So the, the the great idea of that stage is that it had 150 seconds of part time. Yeah. And you had to do a proper room clearing. With, uh, with proper engagement, with using cover, and you were not allowed to, well, if you went through one of the doorways and exposed yourself to the target, yeah. not engaging it, you get penalties. Yeah. But you were not that limited by time, because yeah. 150 seconds was well enough for that stage. I get you. So you could actually have fun. Yeah. I did everything properly, look at the targets, did proper uh, target ID, you know, oh, this is a target I have to shoot, aim, like, it was just, it was fun. Yeah. Usually on competition, you cannot do this kind of stuff. What, what I personally feel as a very good aspect of this match is the fact that uh, the Be Ready, the organizer and the builder of the stages, cooperates with lots of real serving uh, law enforcement and military units. So some of the stages have been built by the Special Forces, for instance, or some kind of different units. So it's based on the story. It's always based on an experience. And it's, it has been put to the actual stage so that's like a good appreciation of the, of the quality of the personnel uh, participating on this match. Oh yeah, I can de definitely see that um, the stages are very uh, team-like. So the first one for us was uh, uh, the anti-tank mine. Okay. Like a lot of really, really good uh, kind of tasks that you have to perform that are not just like carry heavy weight, but it has some meaning to it and yeah. just makes it more fun. Uh, also, what I loved is the use of UTM, so the training munitions, which just opens the door for a lot of other stuff. I don't want to uh, give away too much on the yeah. podcast. I don't know who's listening, so people want to have a surprise on the stages. Yeah. But the cool thing about UTM is that you only need protective glasses, and you don't need like safety angles, and you yeah. can yeah. you can be more creative. It's with like the idea. airsoft. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, that that was super cool. Yeah. And how many competitions uh, have you already done? Just for a reference, is this like the 25th? What kind of competitions? <laughs> well, <laughs> like Link's Brutality, these brutality matches. Oh, the brutality ones. matches. Yeah. Uh, brutality matches, I think more than 10. And then the, uh, the light infantry competition in Poland. Yeah. I did three or four of those. Like, yeah, I did a lot. So of you, you've been through stuff. Oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously. Um, so can you tell us something about that um, setup you deliberately put on yourself? Oh, uh, yeah. So 
Of course, we're in Czech Republic, so I'm using a Czech gun. Yep. CZ brand, brand 2 MS. This one is a bit modified. It has a bit shorter barrel, so yep. I shortened it from 16 inch to 13 ish, I guess. 12, okay. I don't know. And I'm running a silent steel suppressor, the micro mm -hmm. on it. It's a flow through suppressor, so I don't get any gases back. And the gun is really good, just like reliable, uh, shoots well. And uh, I would say that maybe Bren is a bit on a heavier side than a normal sized AR of this yep. length. But it just, it's so overbuilt. Like here we have a, I don't know what the thing is here. In Czech Republic, in Poland, you all have like this kind of sand. This, this sand, <laughs> this is for a beach. It's not for a shooting range. But essentially, like if you do any crawling, like it gets everywhere. Yeah. Yes, and absolutely. Yeah, I, I loaded two of the mags that had like sand here. Mm -hmm. It just worked. It just chopped it up, and I, I, th I thought that maybe I would have a malfunction, but no, not the hicker. All right. So how about a pistol? Uh, the pistol, I will not take it out, but uh, the pi oh, I can do this. Yeah. Ha! That so, seems like this, this is legal. That's according to rules. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we have the main organizer and, and the main uh, RO uh, watching us, so you're good. It seems like you're good. <laughs> so uh, the pistol is actually the Bull X Tomahawk. Essentially, okay. it's a Glock Gen 3 platform. All right. Mm -hmm. But it's modified for competition. It has of a course. cool, uh, very cool uh, golden barrel. And I don't okay. know, it just, it, it, it's nice to shoot with it. And, and I'm thinking it to this kind of competitions. And surprisingly, despite it has a cut in the slide and it's made for sports shooting, it just still chugs along. All right. Essentially, it's a Glock inside, so it's very light. Right. Yeah. Uh, so we were talking about the stage you liked most. What was the worst stage for, so far for you? Some, something you fucked up already? So the worst stage in stage design or the worst stage that I did? In your terribly? performance, I would say, not the design. Hmm. Or both, you can answer both. Probably. I think I had really good hits on all of the stages. Maybe the, the one that caused me the most problems was uh, stage two, where you have a fast rope. Yep. And then you have, um, then you have a machine gun yep. that you have to shoot, uh, hit uh, a popper. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know, around 100 That's meters. That's 100 meters, 100, yeah. yeah. I did the burst and I thought that the, I didn't hit the popper. I went to load my rifle, fumbled with it, yeah, and yeah. the guy said hit. Like, so the popper needed some time to fall, I ah. hit it. So kinda, I lost time there. Then I went to the hand grenades. You had to throw a couple of hand grenades and I got two of the boxes, so quite good hit. The problem was actually shooting from the cover from left and right yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. This was the hardest, most technical thing that I had to do in any competition, mm -hmm. shooting from the cover. Mm -hmm. it's, it was made really in a way that you have, to, you have to use all of your power, all of your like, muscles, and you have to have proper technique, otherwise you, you will uh, cross the line. Yes. And right. get penalties. It was really so, yeah. challenging. Yeah. Yeah, especially yeah. on the left side. I had to, I, I kind of had to on game it. Side, yeah. You had yeah. to change the guard yeah. to the other Ch side. Not just change the gun. I was shooting one-handed with the Bren and had to use the other hand on the Hesco barrier so it didn't fall out. Really? Yeah, as yeah. a support. Yeah. 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 I, I've heard this story from more people. Yeah, it uh, was very, very... Especially on the left side for right-handed shooters. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, yeah. And the thing is that, yeah, it's easier for people without the gear, mm. but I'm top-heavy. I have level four plates. I have some extra stuff on it. Like, you know, I didn't want yep. to gain yeah. the competition. Yeah. I have proper loadout, and yeah, it makes it top-heavy, so it's just like... We did that stage yesterday in the in the pre-match, yep. and it was pretty pretty challenging. I, I we actually both, I fucked up. both kind of <laughs> fucked up the yeah. stage. Yeah. <laughs> I I cannot imagine how that would go if if I would not hit the hand grenades. Right. How many hand grenades you hit? Two. Two. Yeah. That's oh, good. That's good. That's, that's considered like a very good. Two result. out of four. Just yeah, yeah. So yeah. everybody knows. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't well, that lucky. One thing, I was very disappointed that we didn't use real hand grenades. Ah, <laughs> next time, man, next time. So we are actually talking to the distributor of the flashbangs. So ah, maybe perfect. next time. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. No, that, that just gives that extra uh, feeling Touch. to the stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So wh what do you think performed the best from your squad? So you are like in the all-star team, Are you right? winning? Uh, Jiga, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, J James did amazingly. Like... He's new to this kind of competitions. He's very shy. So James Reeves, like, he did amazingly. Like, he's a really good shot. Like, he moves like a gazelle, like, very slim and He's fat. athletic. Yeah, yeah. He's athletic, man. He's every day in the gym. So look, he, 
<laughs> I, I think I think he won uh, for for visual points. So I would Absolutely. say Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. All righty. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. It was yeah. our pleasure. Thank you very much. Fingers crossed for tomorrow. There is six more to go. Oh, I, I'm I'm just like I'm loving it. It's 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 not physically demanding. So when we come here, like we can enjoy it. We can talk with each other. Uh, maybe do some pranks. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, I can't wait. So all right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you too. See you, man. Thank good, you. Good luck. Uh,